welcome back again. This is just a short the little gentleman will address the emperor going back to see what this extra choice was. Type. But arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. Um, I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, but, and with respect. Yeah, I'll figure out what this is. I'm just recording this just in case, like maybe it is something useful. I'm gonna not bow because I'm not a bitch. This time. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I ain't bound. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Already Take liking this much more. <laughs> about the good old days. So silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Oh yeah, yes. she, I was gonna make so her eat a bowl of slugs last time. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If yeah, I know I will. Reason, then because I shall pay it. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Okay, literally that did nothing different. So the gentleman did not understand. Oh well. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. <laughs> oh, uh, I like getting your panties on a wad. I'll keep this one going. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevart the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like a sucker. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? Yeah, I talked to the Emperor. So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Some weirbubs. Fucking weirbubs. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see the sorceress. Oh my god. I keep forgetting about that. Let's 
place is very pretty, by the way. I don't even care if it's freaking uh, Tyrion, Tyrion Lannisters, freaking place. He's kind of a dick. He's a dick in the game. He's a dick in the show. Jesus Christ! Well, there isn't a Witcher show. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. All right. Don't know how long I'll take, bro. Might take me a little while. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild. Ooh, what are you doing over there, Yennefer? Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Uh, Bullshit. Trying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Okay, after? Now do you understand why I'm at any school? Uh-huh. And it seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? She looks no so much better than she did in the fucking second game. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yeah. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. Yeah. A great deal has changed. You haven't. I was about to say, shit, you don't look different at all. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. All right. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. Yeah, what does he want with the her? Wild Hunt. What could it want from Siri? I mean, Siri's just a normal girl. Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. Yeah, fuck you. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood, her gift. What gift? As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I. I mean, she's a witcher, but was that, think about it, was really. that, what, what gift? What gift? So where's Siri Did I miss something exactly? in the second game? In two places. Damn it! Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn of the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. Yeah. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. And who would that be? Triss Merigold. Ooh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. I remember Triss. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. Oh, I shit. believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Man, I'm sorry if I did anything bad. Shit, I did forget. Did you not remember what happened in the yes, first game? Got my ass again. kicked and I died. Not my preference, but I understand. 
clock's ticking. Trying to save people. It Shit. is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. Right. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Oh, I will. I uh, should be waiting. Thank you. That making me happy. Can I talk to you again? Yes. 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 Let's check this drop. Whoa. I thought you said you weren't gonna do any fucking magic, you goddamn liar. Shit. That was fucking awesome. What we got on books? Mmm, letters. What we got, what we got, what we got? I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna put out this book. Psh! Yeah, yeah. Goblet. What we got? Orins. Those are like useless now, though. Orins. Sword for witches. More. Holy shit, is that? Oh, I thought that was 30 or something. Give me all that. Mmm. Ooh. Optima Maker. Don't know what that is. Water Hag? The hell's a water hag? Sounds fucking nasty. Ah, uh, loot everything. Extinguish. What we got? What we got? Ooh, more books. Books always help my knowledge. My bestiaries. It's nice. You gotta have that shit. That way you know what you're doing whenever you're going in to fight stuff. The wild hunt, that will help me. I don't even know what this is, but I'm gonna take it anyways. What we got, what we got, what we got? Extinguish. What we got? Anything? That's a door. That's a book. Thank you. She knows. Steal this. Directly out of northern Yeah, I'm gonna talk Ambassador to you. Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Alright. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. It's not bad, actually. Shit. That admiration I hear in your voice. Radovid is our foe. But I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools. Particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. 
He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Okay. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Damn. I keep forgetting about how racist there. everybody is towards Nothing. everybody. The islanders in this game. pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. <sighs> this is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for filling help. me in what's Think going nothing on. Of it. May the great sun light your path. You guys sound like assholes trying to take over oh. everything. Ho <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Hold up. <laughs> uh, anybody else in here? Ooh, green shit. Yeah, fucking nasty. Hmm. Is there any more shit I can loot? I serve the gentleman by returning my things. Yeah, you can give me my shit back. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, bunches. The emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. I hate brigade. You're kind, sir. You guys like to fan yourselves a lot, don't you? Damn. Somebody wants to talk to me over here. Is it you? I think it is. Mm -hmm. 
Eh, five bucks. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Doubles. Wait, put that in mine? Oh, he's a spy. What does that do? What else with all these different cards, man? Yeah, I'll pass too. I'm still winning. I can use him. What? That was stupid. Well, now I can't do anything. I'm screwed. garbage. I do not understand that. I need to not play those. Had a mission for me, my ass. I'm out. sit here? Oh. Where's the fun in that? Alright, I'm out. Or, you know what? 
I think I'll end it here. I did a couple things in this video. I don't know how long this has been going on. I really need to time myself. <laughs> oh well. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll s I don't know. Okay. I'll see you guys in whatever the hell else I do. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.